Sources have been saying that uh, President Trump ha has already met with Amy Coney Barrett, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I believe yesterday at the time of, depending on when you're watching this video. To be clear, she's a devout Catholic, she's a conservative, um, and she has uh, done a lot in her legal career while raising seven, seven. children. Seven, seven children. Even the New York Times, I think we have this article, they noted that she has particularly strong credentials. Um, she graduated summa cum laude from Notre Dame Go Irish. Law, and uh, she was uh, Scalia's favorite while she was clerking Aww. for him. So here's actually a video from 2017, because I know a lot of you may have never met her, may not be familiar with her. Yeah. Um, uh, during the nomination for the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, I have to read this to make sure I don't get it wrong. No, no, because no, yeah, yeah. You got it wrong. It wasn't the Seventh. Um, <laughs> where it... If you ever wanted a more clear depiction of good and evil, like yeah. as clear as spy versus spy in the back of a mad magazine, here is Feinstein uh. and Barrett. Watch the exchange. I don't have an opening statement, She's but I would cute. like to introduce my special guests. Um, first and foremost, behind me is my husband, Jesse. We've been married for 18 years, with each year better than the last. Um, Jesse and I have seven children, as Getting Senator busy. Young mentioned. Do you consider yourself an Orthodox Catholic? I am a Catholic, Senator Durbin. The dogma lives loudly within you. What? And what? That's of concern. Yeah, she tried to say mm. she couldn't be a judge because she was a practicing Catholic as opposed to... Yeah. Well, I, listen, Feinstein, not all of us can be completely unobservant Jews. <laughs> <laughs> It is tough to do. Is, yeah, and isn't well, that right, a religious yeah. test? Yeah, like saying, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. I do. I obviously have a problem with a religious, uh, religious litmus test. The difference between, hey, are you a devout Catholic or are you a devout Christian or Jewish and uh, Muslim is that the Quran is a politically prescriptive text where right, it says you exactly. have to overthrow governments, you have to kill Christians and Jews, you have to subject people who do not convert to dimitude. Right? There is an actual system of law. The Quran right, yeah. is a book of law just as much as it is a book of religion or theology. But in this case, yeah, Feinstein, I mean, listen, just, I well, get it. You, that, you also yeah. have, like, tons of kids, but in Catholicism, you don't marry them. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, there's a difference. So that was, they were trying to imply that she could not yeah. be a judge because she was a Christian. Let me be really clear uh, on kind of what her, for people who don't know some of her policies. One is they're already bashing her right now because she supported due process um, on campuses. Oh, no. You know, the, tri the tribunals that people yeah. have for rape, which, like, every single one, I don't know if you followed all these stories, almost every single... Yep. Uh, uh, Doesn't turn out very good. Huge mainstream rape story that got press yeah. was at UVA, false. Mattress Girl, mm -hmm. false. Duke Lena Lacrosse. Dunham, Duke Lacrosse, yep. false. Huge. Lena Dunham, false. Uh, Jacob Blake sexually assaulted a woman, from what we know, then violated the currently active yep. warrant uh, and restraining order to go to her house again where he had committed yeah. sexual assault. But True. let's let bygones True. be bygones, <laughs> yeah. depending on the uh, the profile of the person. Right. At this point. And he turned around, yeah. so he can't... Yeah. He turned around. And there won't be a Rolling Stone article about him actually committing sexual assault like there right. was. Right. No, it won't be anywhere. Stuff. No, they're no, going to be running about yeah. And Mattress Girl was a perfect example. I was talking with a girl recently. She didn't know that that was fake. Yeah. She had no idea that that no, was fake. No. That guy was banned from his own graduation. She was Glenn Close, fatal attraction, right? Boiling the pet Psycho. rabbit. She was texting him the most profane triple X pornography you could possibly imagine. And wow. he had already brought it to the attention of other people saying, I'm uncomfortable. This girl is stalking me. Right. She said rape. And because she has to, yeah. go, she goes out there with a mattress. Carrying a mattress. Like She's carrying the cross. She's going out, and everyone just all of a sudden believed her, and the guy, his life was ruined. And there are still people who might be hiring him for yeah. a job interview who think that he's a rapist, even though we know verifiably now that it's not true. Just like some people still believe that Brett Kavanaugh was running a train, not on Flossy Ford, some other person who yeah. we don't even remember her name at this yeah, point. Exactly. Washington Post is going after Amy Coney Barrett. This is, it's, it's, it needs to be clear. Not only can I tell you, okay, what her views are, because I know that a lot of you will agree with that, because naturally she's yeah. a more so conservative potential Supreme Court justice. Of course, yes. But yeah. I think it's just as important, it's equally important to look at the reasons that people on the other side of the political spectrum are attacking her and those justifications. So we talked about how the fact that they're furious that she supports due process, right. whether yeah. you're attending Cornell or not. <laughs> Um, and she also uh, made this statement. Washington Post couldn't believe it. If you go read the original article, she said, we should always remember that a legal career is but a means to an end, and that end is building the kingdom of God. And to be clear, she said, I would never, uh, obviously, uh, I would never infringe on someone else's beliefs. I right. would never force my beliefs on them. But oh my God, you mean that there's someone who wants to be in the highest court in the land who believes there's accountability higher than the seat of Ruth Bader Ginsburg? What a freaking nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. we couldn't exactly, have people yeah. who actually believe that 
someone else is watching them and there are consequences beyond getting caught. Right. Oh, There's you a mean, sense of morality that at least is good. Yeah, somebody who's not a complete narcissist and yeah. thinks they're right. the end of the entire universe. <laughs> and isn't it ironic that the pretty one is the non-narcissist? Uh, yeah. yeah. She's yeah, cute. Interesting. But these are the, the personal attacks that have happened because she was a Christian, yeah. because she believed that there's a higher kingdom than God. They went after the fact that she was sort of defending due process, but that wasn't necessarily an actual case she was involved with. Let's look at the cases with which she was involved yeah. and what her views are, um, particularly, listen, the important ones, as we look at this seat right now, which would sort of break up a divided court, abortion and socialized medicine. She's known, of course, for uh, being pro-life. So that's well known that uh, yeah. TikTok girl would freak out. <laughs> um, and this comes from, I want to make sure they have this correct, comes from the New York Times. Amy Coney Barrett meets Donald Trump's two main litmus tests. She's made a cl uh, She has made it clear that she would invalidate the ACA, Affordable Care Act, uh, very poorly named, yes. and take health care away from millions of people and undermine a woman's reproductive freedom, said Nan Aaron. This is so mm. funny, just when you read the New York Times, the, uh, the Affordable Care Act, where premiums deductibles went up on any given year 47%. Yeah. Yeah. So it's anything yeah. but affordable. It was just a, an attempt to redistribute money. And by the way, I've known people who really were, were relatively poor, but not poor enough, and they could get health sharing plans far cheaper far than what they could get under cheaper. the Obamacare yeah. um, market. And then they say a woman's reproductive. So Affordable Care Act is uh, health care that has cost Americans double or triple since it was right, enacted. Right. Yeah. And reproductive freedom means abortion up until and including after birth, according to oh, Governor yes. Blackface himself, Northam. Amy That's Barrett really also in uh, Cook Co. versus Wolf, uh, she supported Donald Trump's tighter standards for green cards. This is something that is driving the left absolutely nuts. And again, mm -hmm. when we say, okay, we want legal immigrants to uh, to be allowed here, right. and we don't want illegal, listen, you have to, one has to go hand in hand with the other. You can't say that we have no illegal immigration and no immigration whatsoever. Right. But we, we're at the point now where, okay, you know what? We're mostly full, and we only want to bring in the best and the brightest. That's what happens when you're in a feeder league versus being the top team in the league, right? We yeah. get number one draft picks at this point. Well, it, it harms the middle class American more than anybody if you have no yeah. standards for legal immigration. You just tighten down illegal immigration. They say, by the way, as far as legal, just sign the guest book and that's enough. Yeah. yeah. No, exactly. it's not enough. So she's on board with that. Then there was a, a Second Amendment case, Cantor versus Barr. She argued that though uh, violent, and I agree with this, violent offenders should be stripped of right to own uh, their right to own firearms, that nonviolent uh, uh, offenders should still keep their Second Amendment rights. And I do agree with that. I do think that, for example, if someone yeah. committed, I don't know if it's a felony, but like tax evasion, they shouldn't lose their right to right. protect themselves because they probably owe some money to some really bad people. Yeah. So... <laughs> I really You're going to need just, the protection. Yeah, and you should yeah, know about this. You were arrested like 18 times. Uh, 13. Well, you know. Oh, I'm wow. Not, I'm not trash. Once it's, over, once it's a baker's dozen. <laughs> yeah. That's what I call it. Where's the line for trash then? Uh, 14. <laughs> no. yeah. Yeah, yeah, were yeah. any of them felonies? Um, well, if you put three of them together. <laughs> Did the court? Uh, no, fortunately. Oh, good. Uh, oh nice. That's fortunately, a good oversight. Fortunately, 13 arrests, only seven convictions. Oh, wow. Nice. So, yeah, well, I had a good lawyer 50% of the time. <laughs> Ish. Ish. 13 yeah. strikes and you're out. This yeah. is a whole new game. But uh, Your yeah. lawyer was a Barrett uh, yeah. and less a Feinstein. Oh, my, uh. my last lawyer was just like, I, I, you're just... Just pay for your DUI. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Like, come on, man. This. You're hurting yourself Stop and everyone you love. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was all alcohol related and uh, drug arrests. But I also I do agree with her. I mean, you should get another chance. If uh, I've turned my yeah. life around, right? Yeah. And twelve of those arrests were as a juvenile while I was dealing with something very painful at home. Yeah. Sure. So there are reasons that people screw up in their lives, and yeah. I do think that they do deserve that second chance. Later. Well, and I, I also, um, but I think it's different if you were a gang member, for example, like Tukey Williams, who they were saying. For Free Tukey Williams, let him out because yeah. he wrote a children's book, but he killed right. four people on three separate occasions yeah. and holdups. Yeah. That person shouldn't get their right to own a firearm back yeah. or vote in a system so, of laws yeah. that they break. And I think, is it? I hate to use the word common sense, but it's pretty obvious if someone is a, a kid who's made some mistakes, had some rough breaks, right. yeah. versus someone who has flagrant disregard for the law in a violent fashion. Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10.15 Eastern.